this tutorial will cover how to set up the HIPAA Suite Claim Status Responder for use with the HIPAA Suite real-time server. First thing I need to do is set up the database. The first thing I need to do is set up the database, so I click on database. The first thing I need to do, the first thing I need to do is set up the database, so I click on database. And connection and data fields. Here I can select which type of database I'll be using. For this case, I'll be using SQL Server with integrated security. Type in my server name and my database. Save the connection information and test the connection. Here I have a successful connection to the database, however I am missing some tables. To create those, I'll click on blue text here, and run through the tabs one by one in the window that appears. If you are using the HIPAA Suite Claim Master, you don't need to use the Claim Status Source header or the Claim Status Source Details tables, since the Claim Master tables already hold all the data these tables do. I'm going to create them though. I'll be using these tables though. So I'll go ahead and create them. You should already have the company setup table if you've ever used a HIPAA Suite application before. My table's done, I'll test the connection again. I see that all my tables are verified. I'll go ahead and select all of the fields I'll be using. If any of them were to be missing, here's where I would be told. And save the configuration. My source tables options are missing, which is where we will be getting the claim status information. And that's because I have not initialized EDI Exchange. I'm going to check that I've licensed it. And make sure it's set up. And make sure it's initialized. If you're missing any of these tables, Simply go to the EDI Exchange menu, go to Create EDI Exchange Tables, and run through the tabs just like we did for the header and details tables for the claim status. Now that EDI Exchange is initialized, I should be able to go back to Connection and Data Fields and see my information source options. I will be using our own tables because I have not set up Claim Master. Any information I will need in these tables will be imported. I'll select all the fields again, test my configuration. And save my configuration. I have now created the source information which my claim status responses will be using as well as tables to log the transactions themselves. And that's it for our table configuration. To make sure that all incoming files are processed, go under EDI Exchange, under Auto Process Setup, and click Export to Database. You've now configured your HIPAA Suite Claim Status Responder for use with the HIPAA Suite real-time server. Now, in order to properly receive claim status requests and send claim status responses, we need to set up our trading partner. So I'll go up over to the EDI Exchange, click Trading Partners, and create a new one.
Selecting either MIME or SUB for your EDI file exchange method. We'll open up the core tab. And here I'll be writing the username and password I'll, I want my trading partner to use when contacting my server. And this is what I expect my trading partner to send me in his username authentication token. And that's all I need to do to be able to respond to a trading partner. I'll be filling the rest of the trading partner details to use this one as a test. And I have now created a test trading partner to go with my test tables. This concludes the tutorial.